everyone. Today started out a little bit rough because I really, really, really wanted to wake up early today, like way before the kids woke up to do a workout. I have the T25 and I also have P90X and I wanted to start one of them last night, but it got too late and so I was like, I'll wake up early tomorrow and then after I work out, I'll take a shower because I really need a shower. And last night, there was a huge thunderstorm. I don't want Jane to hear me. And I was up the whole entire time. Usually I can sleep through them, but I was up because I thought any minute Jane was gonna wake up screaming because as you know, she's been freaked out about storms lately. So I was up that whole entire time. Then I got up a few times with Jackson and so I got like no sleep hardly. So when it was time to wake up this morning, I just, I couldn't, I needed that extra 30 minutes of sleep. So that means I haven't worked out and I haven't taken a shower. And obviously the kids are awake and up. So oh, I guess, you know, sometimes you just have to start over or, you know, plan something different. So I'm gonna try to still have a good day, even though it started out a little bit on the wrong side. And right now I'm about to cook us some breakfast. Okay, we're just gonna have some strawberries, mandarin oranges, and toast. That's what we're having for breakfast this morning. Okay, look how messy our playroom is. I need to clean this up and organize it. I feel like when we bought this house, this room seemed really big and now we are like cramming everything in here. So I'm gonna see what we can do to organize in here. We are eating lunch now and I gave Jane some Nutella and pretzels and oh no Jane what are you doing I gave my hand in you put your hand in there yeah I think you might have a little bit of chocolate on your face yeah. clean my hands mom clean your hands yeah. what do you say Thank you, Mom. Let's say please. Please. Mom. Oh my gosh, you look like you have a goatee. <laughs> you have a Nutella goatee. Here, move your hand and smile. Is that funny, Jackson? Is that funny? Yeah. He's so, so cute. He's so cute? Yeah. Oh, I know he is. Yeah. Jackson. Jackson. No. Oh, he's smiling at you, Jane. Thank you. 
He's looking at you and smiling. Can you give him a kiss? Mm -hmm. Oh, he has a milk on the plate. Mama. He has a milk on the Oh, okay. Well, just kiss his forehead. Oh, that's nice. And a milk. What? And a milk. Milk. Yeah. Can you give him an Eskimo kiss with your nose? Yes, in. It's my nose. <laughs> Rub your noses together, like. He came like that. He came. He came like that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I finally got the upstairs somewhat clean and it is the afternoon. So I've been working on this pretty much all day and it might not even look like I have much done, but to me, this is how it's gonna be for a while. So over here, we just have our little toy basket. Um, that dog bed is gigantic and that's really the only place it can go. Um, and then I put, like you guys saw in the video, I put these two together and kind of put all her baby doll things in there. And then in those is like all my arts and crafts stuff. And then I just moved her kitchen to over here instead of over there. And that needs to go into the attic. So that's pretty much it. At least we have some room in here. This is still here. Um, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to have it blown up. It kind of lost air at the top anyways. Um, but for now, it's just holding all her stuffed animals Eventually, we can probably deflate it and then inflate it when we have friends over and things like that. But for now, it's good there. But once we have that out of the way, then it will really be open in here. But I have some really fun ideas for this room. Um, but this is just temporary organization, basically. Um, at least I know where everything is and it looks all clean. And there is a baby. Okay, now some of our friends are coming over for a little visit. So we're just waiting on them. Whoa! Are you excited that Mason's coming over? Yay! Are you guys holding hands? <laughs> She's like, what is this? She's looking at it. She's like, I'm, I think I'm holding his hand. What are you doing? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, they're so cute. It's crazy how much bigger he is. I know. And how much wider. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be oh. beautiful mix of babies. <laughs> okay, we've eaten dinner and Chris is mowing the lawn. So I am in charge of giving the babies a bath, which means they take a bath together. So Jackson doesn't necessarily like laying like this. He loves bath time, but laying flat, not always. But let me see the smiles. Jane, you taking a bath with your brother? Yeah. See, the water's really low, so we're gonna hurry up and wash Jackson and then make the water a little higher for Jane, right? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. Look, like, there he smiles. Can you make him smile? Say oogity boogity. Boogity boogity. <laughs> Make him smile. Aww. There he goes. He smiled at you. Alright, let's wash up. What else? Yay. You were just talking. Weren't you? What else? <laughs> hey. Well, I'm feeding Jackson now his bottle before bed. He's just the sweetest little thing. Mom, I have sticks on. Mom, yeah. 
Look, Mom. See it? I see it. Sticker. It's sticker. Oh my goodness. I was just sitting here thinking about when Jane was this little and how it was just me and her and obviously Chris and the dogs, but especially when I was feeding her when I was at home by myself, it would just be really quiet and peaceful. And then we would snuggle yeah, afterwards and she would sleep on my chest a lot. And now, poor Jackson, it is totally different because Jane doesn't stop talking. She's loud. She loves to sing. And she loves to talk, and that's okay, but he rarely gets quiet time. Sometimes if she is still napping and he needs to eat, then he gets a quiet um, eat in there. But otherwise, it's always noisy. So I think he just doesn't know the difference, so it's okay. But he's just the sweetest little thing. He's falling asleep. He's so tired. I felt bad because Chris went to go do the lawn, mow the lawn, and then the lawnmower ran out of gas. So he had to go all the way down to the gas station. Hopefully he can get back and mow the lawn before it gets too dark. Otherwise, he'll just have to push it back till tomorrow. But um, I know that he was really looking forward to doing it tonight just to get it out of the way. Okay, guys, we're going to call it a night. Chris just got done mowing the lawn and look. It's pitch black outside. Did it get dark on you out there? Mm-mm. Oh. And I put the kids to bed, so we are going to relax now. And I just wanted you guys to see Chris's beautiful face because you didn't get to see him at all today. See, I'm nice. Thanks, babe. Maybe you guys should say in the comments if you think we should buy a new camera for Chris and he should do his own vlogging. Oh. I didn't hear the rest. I said no before I heard the rest. Oh, I thought you, you don't said, want to? I thought you were going to end it buying a new camera. <laughs> oh. Well, or we can use another camera that we have, but that'd be cool to get his your perspective on things, even though he basically works all day and probably can't bring a camera out and work, but other things, like when you had to go to the gas station today and stuff like that. So let us know in the comments if you think that's a good idea, because then you can see more and hear more than just me the whole time. Maybe I should just strap a GoPro to like a belt buckle. Call it dad cam. Maybe to your forehead. A belt buckle, that's going to be a kind of weird angle. That's Jane's height. <laughs> true. That's where most of the action is. True. Sounds very true. All right, but we are going to call it a night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Cheese. Okay, bye. Say bye. Oh, <laughs> bye.